So, a couple of weeks back I released a video about some issues I had with the live-action One Piece adaptation. Yes, I made the mistake of putting an opinion on the internet about something anime and manga related, no less. And, uh, it did very well. Like, more views than all my past long-form videos combined. So, from the bottom of my little blobby heart, thank you very much. I wanted to try my hand at a video essay type video, put a whole bunch of time into it, and seeing the response really made me feel all warm and fuzzy during the Christmas season. Since that video took so much time to make, I wanted to take it easy and this time talk about the process of making it. Everything from the visuals, music, script writing, and so on. As a thanks, I'm going to upload my background music tracks, scuff and all, to my Discord. The ones that I made for that video, which I'll link in the description. Feel free to use however you wish, though they were made to be background tracks. Just give me a credit when you do. Alright, let's get into it. Why did I make the video? I've been interested in making a video essay style video for a while now. And since this channel is all about me wanting to try new things, and things that I just really want to do in general, I thought, well, why not? I ended up writing the majority of the script on the train to and from work, kind of on a whim. I had just finished the live action series, felt fairly positive overall about it, well, felt positive at least that, oh thank goodness this isn't horrific like the Death Note or other western live action anime adaptations, but there were a few things that I couldn't shake, and factoid about me, when I'm trying to sort my thoughts I like to write them out. As I was listing some of the things, I decided, well, maybe I should turn this into a script, and therefore a video, though I will say I've got a couple of scripts that are rusting in the background that are a long way from becoming videos. The more I wrote, the more strongly I felt, and I hadn't seen too many videos bringing up the things I was saying, aside from the GARP stuff, though that could have just been me not seeing those videos. So I decided that I'd create the video myself, and aim for New Year's Eve since my videos are released on Sundays. I knew beforehand it was going to be a chonky one just due to the length of the script and the fact that I knew I would be pulling scenes from the show and panels from the manga, which would make editing more intensive, though at that point I didn't realise how intensive. But I had two weeks off for the Christmas break so I thought I'd have enough time to put it together. That said, because I was writing it on the train with nothing but my fresh memories to go off of, and well solidified memories of the manga, there were a few things that I think I may have overstated. Mainly the stuff about Mihawk, which I cut a lot out during the editing process. But hey, if we're talking about the script, let's section it out. Script writing. I write all my scripts the same. I write them the way that I talk. So very little editing direction. I did section it out into parts though, which isn't something I usually do in my vlog scripts. I did think that, unlike my usual content, that splitting it into sections would make it a bit more digestible than my usual stream of consciousness rambling. When I was satisfied with the script, I touched up the intro and the outro, did a couple of read-throughs, waited a week, did another few read-throughs, and adjusted whenever I thought something didn't flow as well as it could. Something else I tried, which I never do, was putting the script into chat GPT, seeing if it could tighten it up. And it stank. It truncated so much that it lost meaning, and the way that it changed my voice, that is to say the way that it would get me to speak if I narrated it, just felt so wrong that I abandoned the idea within half an hour. I didn't use anything from ChatGPT, and I think the video is much better for it. One thing I should have done was rewatch certain episodes from the series, or maybe given the entire show a quick skim to verify. I remembered my main points well enough because I was watching it with my honey and I felt the urge to tell her about them, and most of the ones I talked about were especially egregious that they stuck in my mind. The only one that I probably would have cut entirely from the video was the Mihawk one. The one about Mihawk's personality, not Zoro only using two swords against him. If I had rewatched the series, I probably would have cut that one entirely, but since I only caught my missteps in editing, we got a little text disclaimer instead. Recording audio. I use Audacity to record my audio, and I pretty much always do it in a single sitting. Though being over 26 minutes long, the recording session did take a while. I then do some minor adjustments, noise reduction and volume amplification. I put a foam windscreen on my mic when I record videos, and it reduces the volume a fair bit. And then I export it once it's done. Simple. Music. Music was actually the next thing that I did, even before I started editing, and during editing too, but I started before. I thought to make the video extra special, I would record one piece specific background music. At the start, I only had two pieces that I knew I would want. 
We Are and Bing Sake. Then I did A Shorter Town, an actual piece of background OST from the anime, To The Light, and a personal favourite, Crazy Rainbow Star. I slowed and simplified and really chilled them out so that they would hopefully function nicely as a bit of pleasant background sound. I had to write a few of the chords out, especially when it involved a key change, which I did on sticky notes that I stuck to my keyboard so I could reference them as I played. Like, literally, here's all that I referenced. And I didn't reference the actual charts, so I'm sure that they are completely different. I'll tinkle out the song a couple of times before attempting recording. To record, I've got a Focusrite Scarlet Solo, so I can plug my keyboard directly into my computer to record it. My mic goes via the Scarlet Solo too. I definitely suffered from, I play this just fine when I'm not recording, but as soon as I hit the record button, I make mistakes, which is why all the recordings have a few oopsies in them, as do most of my background tracks that I record for my videos, actually. But since these are background tracks, they're normally too quiet and behind me talking, so the mistakes can slip under the radar. For the different sounds and drum loops, my keyboard is a Roland and comes with all of those things included. Over 120 different drum loops to choose from. You can kind of see the evolution of the recording process with each track as well. We Are was done with just the keys, then I added the drum loop for being sake. Then for the final three tracks, I would record the drum loop separately so I could adjust its volume independently, then the rhythm keys and then the main tune keys. The only one that had a bit extra on it was Ashore to Town. I added distortion and reverb in post to give it a bit of a lo-fi hip-hop vibe, though I did save a clean version for comparison. Like I said, all those tracks will be available on my Discord for download, and maybe I'll put them somewhere else as well. Backgrounds. I didn't think that my normal video background would suit the theme of the video, so I thought, why not? Draw a custom one for the One Piece video. I started out with a vague outline of the Mary, trying probably a bit too hard to get the perspective looking right. Then, once I had started drawing the actual lines and referencing some actual images of the Mary, I changed the angle to be a bit more side-on so I could better show her expression, and made the neck go off-screen just because trying to figure out how to make the front of the Mary merge with the railing and all of that jazz it was just a bit too much of a hassle. I then drew my blob at blob wearing the classic straw hat. Though I did completely and utterly forget to add my little blobby bee, and I didn't want to redraw and export my already completed frame, so I decided to leave it as is. I thought early on I would put a variety of expressions so it wasn't just a static image, but then I thought it would be really cute and funny to have the Mary have complimentary expressions too. I think they turned out pretty great. My drawing software, Critter, did close down randomly between exporting two expressions, and I lost the shadow on the Mary, which is why the confused expression has a different shading to the others. But a static image wasn't the best. I've always disliked it with my past backgrounds, but thankfully it was easy to come up with something that moved in the background, the sea and the sky. So I got to work creating two extra long assets, the clouds and the water. I based the water off of a frame that I found from the anime, and the sky I put some nice fluffy clouds. Then I animated the three layers, I split the clouds into foreground and background clouds, so that they would move at different speeds, and then adjusted them until I got the speed that I liked. I actually created more cloud than ended up being shown. I even created a little blobby bee cloud that never made an appearance. It was because I was having the clouds move as fast as the water in the initial tests of the background elements, and that just looked really wacky, so unfortunately the clouds never moved far enough to reveal it. Originally, I was hoping to create a looping element that could theoretically just be there forever, but after spending a bit too much time on it, this was less than a week until the video was planned to be released, I thought the 20 second chunk that I created was sufficient. I had started editing at this point and I didn't foresee needing my background for more than that amount of time since I'd be cutting to manga panels and scenes from the show. The only other custom asset I created was populating the do it for her template for Moomoo, because where is my giant sea cow? Editing. I do my editing in DaVinci Resolve, the free version, and I'm not a very good editor as you could probably tell. My general editing rules are synchronize any cuts with the start of a new line, using generic fades if a cut seems too harsh, put black outlines around the white text so it stands out, and the new thing I did for this video which was using a slightly opaque solid black colour to highlight certain panels when overlaying them. Like I said, I'm not a good editor. The big time sink of the editing process for this one was cropping all the relevant manga panels from their pages and the whole finding the right panel for what I'm saying right now process. Generally, editing wasn't a case of hard work, I'm not nearly talented enough to do really cool things to make the video visually interesting using editing skills, it was a case of a lot of work, just grinding it out. It's why I want to do a far less intensive video this week, because as much as I'm really happy with the work that I did, 
golly, it was a lot of hours that I wouldn't have been able to achieve if I wasn't on holidays. Now, I did actually make a big whoopsie in my script, which was accidentally repeating issue 7, which then carried over to all the other issues past then. So I did some cutting to take me saying issue 8, 9, and 10, and placing the audio where I had incorrectly numbered the item I was talking about. That's the reason the final issue is final issue. In the recording, I actually called it issue 10, and I take the final and issue that I said previously and spliced those in instead. I think it's relatively seamless. When I exported the completed video, I did a couple of watch throughs and thankfully I only needed to do a slight adjustment where I had misspelled Kobe with a C. Other content. I don't want to fall into any hot water here accidentally, so I'll just say this. I own every English printed volume of One Piece, aside from maybe the two latest ones, so I don't see a problem using a digital version of something I own. To find the relevant manga panels, I read through the first 94-ish chapters and saved whichever pages had the potential to be relevant. I ended up saving more than that actually, but you never know on the whims of editing whether you want something or not. As for the live action clips, I was thinking I may be able to only use what was in the trailer, but I ended up using clips that fall under fair use. If you need clips that fall under fair use, I suggest using DuckDuckGo instead of Google. The thumbnail. I didn't actually really know what to do for the thumbnail. I created it about a week apart. First thing I created was the garb smiling being cracked apart. I did that before even creating the backgrounds. I based it off the panel of Garp laughing with Sengoku and I tried to draw it so it was a bit more centered. I then grabbed the still of live action Garp and put it behind and used the line tool to crack it and then grabbed each section and adjusted it accordingly. I couldn't get a clean cut of the live action Garp's face so I just kinda blurred around it. I used the background color of the scene as a flat background color for the rest of the thumbnail too. I added the text and confused Mary image once I had completed editing the video, and a little bit of hand-drawn text. It was supposed to read as graffiti, about a missing octopus, and bam. Thumbnail done. Uploading. I tried doing a lot more tags than I usually do when I uploaded the video, though who knows if it paid off or not. Just a whole bunch of permutations of One Piece live action. The other thing that I did that I don't normally do is timestamp the video in the description, which I think was a worthwhile thing to do. Heck, I'll do it for this video too. Thankfully, YouTube makes it pretty easy. You just put the timestamp in the description as a basic time and then description, YouTube pretty much takes care of the rest. And that's pretty much it from start to finish, how I created my first video essay. So what next? I'm definitely keen to make future One Piece content. I mean, I've created all these assets already, it would be a shame to only use it once. I'll definitely be releasing a similar video for season 2 of the live action, which I'm very worried about some of the things they may skip or change, which could be a video all on its own. If there's more One Piece content you'd like to see from me, let me know in the comments down below. As for another video essay, well, there is one show I'd like to make a series on, one of my favourite anime of all time, Legend of the Galactic Heroes. My honey hasn't seen it, and I'm keen to re-watch it. I own the officially translated novels, and it's just a series that I think not enough people have watched. I'm talking about the OGOVA series, not the remakes, which I haven't actually seen myself yet. That will likely be a long time away, but I'm going to use the knowledge and skills I've accumulated with this first foray into video essays to hopefully make that series some of my best work. Otherwise, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you took something away from it. Maybe it's inspired you to make your own video essay. All my software that I used was free, and if you're on the fence about it, yeah, it's hard work, but even so, the One Piece live action video was one of my favorites to make. Once again, thank you so much for making that video one of my best performing and most engaged videos. I've enjoyed being in the mostly positive comments and people pointing out some of the things that I missed. It reminds me that it's not I attempt new things, it's we attempt new things. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a fruitful day.